video in about a year and a couple months almost like a year and a half so I thought I'd just update you guys on what's on my phone it's basically the same setup but I have a couple of new apps and I got rid of some so might as well just share with you guys what's on my phone and by the way I'm wearing a hat because I'm having a little hair dilemma it didn't work out on any way I parted it, so I hope you guys don't mind me wearing a hat. So just to start off the video, um, I have the iPhone 6, just the regular iPhone 6, and this is my phone case. This is a Kate Spade phone case that I got at an outlet, and it was on sale, so I just, you know, got it, and it's a little cute lucky cat. And a lot of people ask me where I get this case, and it's Kate Spade, and it's really high quality. I love it. And then my actual phone is the silver color, I guess. Is that the name of it. I don't know the technical name for it, but it's silver and it's the iPhone 6. So anyway, let's just hop into my phone. Um, my wallpaper is this picture at Forever 21. Uh, let's just start at the top. I have messages, FaceTime, calendar, photos, um, camera, weather, clock, app store, what am I doing with my life? iTunes store, maps, videos, notes, settings, calculator, contacts, and news. And then at the very bottom, I have my phone to call people, you know, um, my emails, which I check very often, so that's why it's at like no little number at the corner yet. Yeah, that bothers me a lot. And I have two of them right here, so that's a little bothersome. But anyway, um, I have Safari and then music. So let's just hop into the folders at the very bottom because that's how I organize all of my apps. The first one here is SNS, and that means social networking sites, I'm pretty sure. But I, you see, I, I named that when I first got into K pop, and it was just like it made sense to me because. You know, my husband uses the word SNS, so why why can't I? Exactly. My logic back then. But anyway, I kept it because I didn't care. Um, but the first thing here is of course YouTube, then I have Studio, which is like if you're a YouTuber or if you make content, it's a really good app to like check your views, reply to comments, um, what else? Check like how much you earn, how many subscribers you got in the past like 28 days kind of thing. It just has all your statistics and your videos and settings in there so it's really convenient to edit on your phone like any like description box or title, um, misspells or whatever. Yeah, it's great. Um, then I have Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because I'm currently working on a new theme and it's kind of like a natural looking uh, brownish. Uh, subtly filtered theme. Yeah, my last theme was very cotton candy and I thought it was time for a change. So I went with a more mature, less filtery theme. So, you know, anyway, just follow me on Instagram at TalkAboutLisa. Great. I know. Then I have Twitter, which I've been using a very often lately. Like, I, I rant so many times on Twitter. Like, I just, I tweet everything. So you should really follow me on there if you like listening to people's rants and trying to relate to people because I find Twitter to be very um, connecting verbally since you don't really share a selfie every so often you just share your words and I like that about Twitter and I always tweet things on my mind so follow me on Twitter at talk about Lisa once again so anyway um, I have snapchat which I love snapchat it's great and you should totally add me um, here's my little ID thing so you know just you know take a picture of the screen right now and add me and if that doesn't work I'm just at Ulisha if you wanted to add me yeah I snap and put things on my story quite often and I don't have um, my account on like public for everyone to send me snaps but I do um, open my snap uh, every so often and I reply so um, be sure to add me and watch my story and that was a really ugly an angle let's do this but anyway, anyway, um, next up I have Google, which I use a lot. I have Edmodo, which is like a school thing. I, um, and then I have Dropbox, which is like a little, like, it's almost like emailing, but you're just like sending files that are like higher, bigger sizes or whatever. I don't know. I use it every so often. And then I also have Audible, and this is not sponsored. I use Audible for my actual school stuff. And I'm currently reading um, To Kill a Mockingbird because we're about to finish the book. And I listen to it and I read it. Cause it helps me remember more because I'm really bad with memory 
especially during novels and then I have those reading tests that make me like, okay, we're going somewhere else. But anyway, reading tests really, yeah, I failed most of them. It's kind of sad. But it's okay. They only like small percentage of my grade. So no need to worry. Moving right along, I have Cute. And I named this Cute because they're my like cute apps. I don't know. I find Kakao Talk to be cute apparently so I don't know I just named this folder cute but cacao talk is just like a messaging thing that I use with a couple of my friends so I have it and then I have the XOL app which if you're an XOL or if you're an XO fan then you should have the app because you know yeah I don't know why I have it I barely ever use it but I have my um, XOL card on there and Kai usually posts on the fan board or like the artist board or whatever so and then I have 2048 EXO and it's basically the game 2048 but it's EXO version and it's so cute. I never ever got to Shimin before and it's kind of sad because it's an order by age unless you set it up your way but yeah it's just an EXO game. Okay and then I have Superstar SM which is a SM game like a SM entertainment game where you basically play like piano-ish type thing kind of just pressing a bunch of places with songs from SM artists and you can only get this in the Korean app store but I made a Korean app store account just for it and you can make that by searching it up on Pinterest? Pinterest? Okay. You can find out directions on how to make a Korean app store account on Pinterest or Tumblr. So yeah. Um, then I have the Vicky app which is a drama, K-drama app. I also have Drama Fever and those two are like my main um, drama, Korean drama apps or websites I use. So yeah, I have those and I'm currently watching Descendants of the Sun and Page Turner. Um, so yeah, Descendants of the Sun is so good. Junkie. I cry. He's like my favorite actor at the moment. Like I'm watching, what else am I watching? I'm actually watching one of his old, drama, old dramas. It's called like Innocent Man or Nice Guy or something. Junkie is my like my husband. My second husband, because you know, Sehun and I are already married, and then Junki came into my life, so... Okay, moving on. The V app. The V app is basically a live streaming app that Korean actors, actresses, celebrities use. Then I have the Mimi Box app, and this is not sponsored by Mimi Box either. I just have the app because I do shop on Mimi Box myself, and their app actually has, like, certain app sales as well. Like, there's, like, exclusive sales on the app that you can't get on the website. Then I have my basically one of the only like games i have on here called puka friends and it's like a restaurant game yeah you just make food but anyway moving on i have the folder edit and this is all my photo editing apps um so the main one i use of course is beauty plus and you guys can check out my how i edit my instagram photos video right here if you guys want to know how i edited my cotton candy theme and once i get my new theme going or if i change it like instantly like next week or something um i'll update my how i edit my instagram photos um then i have lip Picks don't know how to pronounce it but it's basically a collaging app and I have square ready which I don't know why I have because I never square my photos with the white bars anymore then I have pick play post and that is just a video collaging app that I use sometimes and then I also have b612 and this is a very nice app I love this because it takes like the cutest selfies ever like the filters are really nice too okay let's just like find a filter and let's take some selfies and I chose a collage of like the little four things so I really like this and then you can like swipe for different filters like wow I love all these filters they make me look so nice wow and then we have text on videos which is basically what the app name says it's an app to put text on top of videos that you put together or something. Um, and then my very last folder is just stuff that comes with the iPhone that I don't ever use. And it takes up so much freaking space that I can be using for photos of my husband, but okay. We have compass, tips, uh, voice memos, reminders, podcast, health, stocks, wallet, uh, find iPhone, watch, iBooks, and find friends. And then we have Game Center on this side because I really like my um, home screen, which is a Eiffel Tower with some cherry blossoms, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, that is all of the apps and everything on my iPhone. Was that interesting? I don't really know. Kind of too long for a, a what's on my iPhone. But yeah anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i found it uh interesting helpful or if you discovered some new apps today i don't know but this was requested so i decided to share with you guys what was on my phone i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching and yeah i love you guys okay that sounded really weird i love you guys bye beauty
아직까지 깨니 오늘 너의 하루는 어땠니 아무 일도 없기만